Okay, Dan and I are at the skate park and we're just doing some flat ground tricks warming up. We were saying one of the hardest but easiest tricks is switch pop shove. Like why is it so hard? I, I know exactly why it's so hard. Why is it so hard? Dan? Okay, here's here's my honest opinion okay, why switch pop shove is so hard. I have, I have a real theory. So for shove it's to keep your board from flipping, you have to have a real sturdy like uh the harder the more the more sturdy you get the tip of your tail touch the ground, the less the board's gonna flip over. Switch tricks, you pussyfoot your back foot pop no matter what. That's why most people switch flip their mob. That's why most people switch backside flips flip easy. Because if you pussyfoot and switch back, backside flip, it'll stick to your front foot a little better and flop around. So switch up, you need a big switch sturdy push and it makes your board, like when you half-ass it, it starts to barrel flip. Like it'll do that every time you half-ass it. And I think it's just funny because like a pop shove it, I feel, and shove it's are kind of like fairly easy to learn. But then it's like such an easy trick in the beginning, but it's like a basic. But then once you go switch, it's just like a game changer. Well, the other thing is you could probably be a new skater and land a bunch of switch shove before you learn your first kickflip, but you're not going to have switch shove -its. That's the problem. You can, every skater who's been skating for a couple months can do a switch shove it probably, but you can't have switch shove -its. It's like a <laughs> trick that teases you throughout your entire skateboarding career, unless you're Stevie Williams, Andrew Reynolds or another skater that was in one of the skate franchise video games. Those are the only people who've had those tricks. Because not only shove it, if you're from the East Coast, you automatically have it. Switch shoves, not so much. It's not, and it's a rare trick you honestly see. Yeah. And so, like, I feel like we're going to just kind of go over, like, you know, some of the little key features that, like, I think I've unlocked with the trick today, and maybe some things with Dan, because Dan and I have just kind of, like, relearning this trick today. So you've been doing, and then I, I, I did, like, two. You did it up the Euro gap before me, so he has it. He's lying. He's the best. He's the best. He's the best. No one can never. No, no one can never. I think it is important to point out the bigger your board, the it easier it is, I would say, to keep yeah, it from flipping. I definitely agree, because yeah, with the nine inch board, there's way less, you know, up a chance of that board flipping. Yeah, so and like, this is universal for all shove this information. Yeah. Shove it's big spins, it's so true. Because honestly, yeah. once I started riding a nine inch board, shove it's were so much easier. Yeah. Because it was always a kind of a wacky trick, because it's like when you do pop them, you are, you know, like we were talking about, you have to wait for the board to hit your bottom of your foot where it's not flicking and catching. It's like yeah. a whole different feel. So it's like kind of sketch. Yeah. And then like you said, with the switch pop, you have to push down hard on your switch foot. Harder that, than it's comfortable for sure. It's really uncomfortable. Yeah. And I feel like, and you have to also make sure it's always on the tip. Yep. That's the biggest tip. The closer the to the tip, tip of the tail, the especially dead center, because the reason your board flips over a lot of times is if you put pressure here, the board will naturally rock that way. You gotta be straight center is the sweet spot. Even if you have your foot over here, you still want the tip to be the part that hits first. Exactly, no, it's kind of crazy. And then even with my front foot, I feel like for me today, I feel like my little secret that I learned was like honestly standing in a switch flip back tail stand. Stop. I swear I'm telling people that it low-key worked for me. Like just cause like having that front foot lower, like kind of in the middle of the board, yeah. I feel like it helps us get that foot out of the way. And then just really obviously focusing on just pushing down okay. and just hoping for the best. I mean, if it works for you, I will say that I tried this advice and first try slam. So I don't think the switch, I think switch back tails works for you. Or maybe does. the way I set up for switch back tail is different than yours. I especially because I've only landed maybe two in my life. I've never done one before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe that has something to do with it. How you think you're supposed to switch back to L? That's how I think I should. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because yeah. like that's how I feel like I would do it. Okay. I can do it, but it works with the switch pop. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. So good. One from behind. Look at that tip. Oh! Well, that was bad. That was bad. Like, this is like the sweet spot right here. Yeah, that needs to be what hits the ground yeah. first. And like, no, it get the foot's here. That's more comfortable over here. I feel like with this trick too, it's just a matter of like trying different foot placement because obviously like you're going to find what works for you. That was a good one. That was a good one. Do a floaty foot. Can you do that? The secret to the floaty foot. Yeah, what's the secret to the floaty foot? I think the secret to the floaty foot is when it comes down to like when you're pushing down so hard on that foot, is leaving it down there. You leave it. Yeah, you leave it down there and let the front foot do all the catching work. You set it and forget it. Here's what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Literally, you just keep it down there. You know, I think that's really the secret. That was so extra. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much. But I think that's what it is. It's keeping that foot out there. Oh. 
I'm enjoying this. I don't know if you are, but I'm enjoying it. Oh my god, you look like a dog pissing on a fire hydrant. I think it's honestly easier because it makes your foot kind of get out of the way for the shoving. I feel like I need a solid one first, just for me. Oh god. Stevie can never. Okay, I'll try a pointy foot. Oh, that was pretty chill. That looked pretty. Floaty, though. But it was still foot was out though. You had the foot out there. It got out of the way. It did get out of the way. It did get out of the way though. Pretty scary going with any speed. Dude, right? It is crazy how this trick though, it's like, it's scary to go faster, but it's almost easier. It, dude, it makes, like, switch pop is one of those tricks that like, you have to commit. Yeah. It's kind of weird, where like, you can't like, bail it. It's like, if you're going fast, you're all in. <laughs> you're gonna bail it? Oh shit, sketch ass. You just did it. You just did it over a trash can. That's all. <laughs> that was painful. That was pretty gentle. Maybe more like the back. Well, that was pretty good. Oh, that was getting good. The the foot was getting steezed. I know, yeah, and I'm doing it off the nose of my board. Are you doing it off the nose or the tail? Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, I feel like, because yeah, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people do a lot of switch tricks off the tail, but that messes me up sometimes. I like, because then Nolly and Switch are completely different skateboards. Yeah. If you're doing Nolly off your nose and Switch off your nose, same board. Exactly. It makes sense. He's not wrong. I feel like we both have built enough confidence to try this. Why are you trying to drag me into this? <laughs> <laughs> Loki, this trick is hard. Like, I'm still learning it and I've been skating for a long time and yeah. it's still a hard trick to do. Yeah. So now we're gonna go try it off something. I'm a little, I don't know. I'm gonna try to stomp it first try just to get it out of the way, you know? But um, do I have to go all, all the on to it or I start on you, top? You go on any way you want. Cause like if I would've like, yo, real talk, if I would've really like tried it the first time, I would just start from like right here. Really? Yeah. If that's what works. You know, this, is, this might be the best option. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, you had. <laughs> Dude, it's so key scary often. I'm not kidding. I feel like it, it, I feel like I can do it off of something easier than on flat. Because no. it forces me to try the right way. I guess. Oh, that's so quick. That's so, <laughs> maybe off this one. <laughs> okay, I'll do this one. You <laughs> okay. We're going to show people the progression. stuff it makes me try i think it was just my trick tip helped you no it was i think Actually, so <laughs> i wasn't gonna do it because i was like dang you're only relying on yourself right now and then i felt like almost like a life jacket of your words coming into my head it was like i'm safe i'm, I'm gonna glad. do it it's gonna pop it's gonna be all right dog and, and you that, nailed it that could be you guys it could be if you finish the video and, and go check his yeah. too felt cozy. that was a good one dude it's the only good one i did today that was really good though <laughs> I'm gonna do this one. okay I'll you gonna switch O up it? Yeah, switch alley. Oh, he's doing a line. Oh, going slow though. Oh. Damn, going so slow. Yup. There it was. He's him. There it was, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's switch shove. I don't know. Check the foot stance. Try different foot placements. Switch pop. Get it. <laughs> lock it. Pop it, lock it, and drop it, dogs. That's it. Go switch pop. Go do it over a trash can. The video's